In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the greatest plugin or one of the greatest plugins I've ever seen. I usually don't record plugin reviews, but I had to made, make an exception to this one because it is so unique in what it does. And of course, I'm talking about Life by Excellent Audio. Generally speaking, these guys are great. They are doing like the greatest plugins. Um, they are so intuitive and forward thinking. And you know, I, do, I don't need another reverb or distortion plugin, or a hundredth compressor, or whatever. I need interesting plugin, plugins that do interesting stuff. And this hits the spot on all accounts. And it works like that. You record fields with your mobile phone that I was happy to discover records really well. I used to think about my mobile phone as just a camera, you know, and a phone, of course. But I was shocked to discover how well it records sounds. I have the Samsung 22 Ultra, but I do believe that a lot of current mobile phones can record in supreme audio quality. So it was a very pleasant surprise. And it collects this recording into the desktop app, desktop app. And that by itself is amazing because it makes you walk around in this world and recording fully all around. These are some of the sounds I recorded lately. And... You know, by the very fact that it causes you to listen to the world in a different way, I don't want to sound like I'm exaggerating, but it actually did, did this for me. You know, I don't usually record Foley's. And look at this. I've recorded everything I can think of. And it sounds amazing on the mobile phone. And the stereo field is really wide. And I don't really see a reason even to buy, you know, a field recorder once I've listened to this. So by the very fact that you can record on your mobile phone and have it ready available, readily available in the plugin itself is already something, you know, that I find very useful because I can rock around, record follies or sound effects or interesting stuff around me and have them readily available in the uh, DAW, which alone is amazing. But of course, this is only the beginning of what this plugin can do because let, let's take an example. Here is me chewing. I left the toast for too long in the toaster. I'm sorry. So once it's recorded, see what I can do with it. I'm double clicking it or pushing the OK button and listening what automatically it did to it. How amazing is that? You know, so it's works with some kind of artificial intelligence. It splits the audio into something that looks like hit points, but it also, I think it works by finding, finding resemblance between the different slices or whatever. It kind of reminds me of Loop Mesh plugin by Steinberg, which is no longer available. The, the insert effect is, but the plugin itself isn't. And it was a very interesting plugin. And it sort of did the same thing, but this one does it in a whole new way. Let's try something else. All of them are amazing. I want them all. So let's dive a little bit deeper into it. So the first bonus for me again is the fact that I can record sound on my mobile phone, phone and have them appear in the DAW. That alone is amazing. Now, by the very fact that I can take these sounds and just push a randomized button, I'm a great fan of randomizing. Okay, it's a way for me, you know, to escape my usual conventions and find new interesting ways and new sounds and get new ideas. It's like using the computer as a composing advisor, if you want, or a comp composer uh, companion, if I can call it that. Because what we need a lot of the time as composers and beat makers or, or whatever, music makers, is we need something to anchor ourselves on, you know? And this gives you a pretty solid starting point. Randomize. This is amazing. Let's do a little bit of sound variation. Once I like it, I can create another variation. And you will notice now that it's not locked to the 
uh, project tempo, but I can do lock it if I push this lock button. Now it fits 110 BPM. And let's say I want more syncopation in it. Then it goes along adding more offbeats. Let's add more particles, more slices. This is amazing. Let's have less slices. Now currently, the first half of the loop and the second one are identical because the symmetry is on zero. Let's push it towards more asymmetry, if you say it like that. Or more square. Now the loop is more repetitive and less variations in it. Let's change the audio source. Let's try something else. Let's take, um, oh, here's my song Lego Pile. This is a mobile phone. It's amazing that you can do that. I should also add that once you import a WAV file into Life, it automatically, I think, I don't remember you asked me to do that, it denoises the sample. And you can already see that I've played around with this uh, audio file and created the following beats. Let's open this one. Now, as a supplement to, you know, like your main beat or something, this could really enrich the texture of everything and add something very organic to the sound. And this is what I like about this concept. You take like everyday sounds and the first thing you start to notice them, yeah, and then you record them and add something organic to you, otherwise maybe to sterile, sterile beat. Amazing. So let's go a little bit about the features. I already said what I wanted to say, but <laughs> this is amazing. I'm very enthusiastic about this plugin, as you might notice by now. But it comes, you know, with um, more control, of course. You can save several variations. You can even choose which slides you prefer over others. Like, let's say I don't like him to play this one. Don't play this one. And I really like this one. Yeah, you can addition it by clicking it, of course. Add more of this one. This really reminds me of Loop Mesh. Which I won't be surprised if it served as sort of inspiration to this plugin, but again, it, it comes to it from a whole nother angle, whole new angle. So you can like certain slices or omit them if you push the X button here. And we can, can we drag and drop them here? No, we can't, but we can do that if we do export. And then we have this, and I can just drag certain slices outside, you see, and it opens an audio track in Cubase, or whatever. Or look how rich is the export window. I can export the wave. I can export the MIDI file. I can export the source file, which is also excellent. Again, because then your mobile phone serves as a field recorder, and you can just drop your Foley in here and manipulate them as you wish. I can export all the slices, one and the inside of the inside of the other um, or the active slices alone or the individual stems which brings me to the next window oh by the way you can put a kick on as well listen to this how cool is that and it auto it's auto selects a suitable kick apparently by some sort of an AI engine beneath the hood. And this is not the first plugin that the uh, Excellent Audio uh, uses AI. Of course, they have the fabulous XO, which I'm a great fan of and deserves a video of its own. XO plugin also uses uh, AI to recognize um, the, um, sounding alike samples and organize them down. Um, so we have like, you know, all sorts of kicks here. 909, 707, all sorts of dirty other 
granular kicks or whatever. It's really cool. Let's do this again. I don't need you, project. Just need this. But here's something that misses. Now, if you few excellent guys ever listen to this video, please add a sync, not only to the tempo, I wanted to play once I play the DAW because I want to hear my beat in perfect sync to what happens in the project. And right now, um, unless I'm mistaken, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, I push the play button. Sorry for that. And it doesn't automatically start to play uh, the plugin. So it's a little bit of a hit and miss, right? Because we might have an arrangement and we want to hear the beat alongside with it without actually yet importing it or recording it or you know you, you just can play in the downbeat and hope that it will be in sync with the project it's not really useful i want to push the play here in the project and have it play along with the plugin itself it shouldn't be too complicated but again if i'm mistaken please correct me if one of my viewers here noticed this function if i missed it please leave it a comment below what else can we do of course, we can do a pattern variation. And then, uh, you see, my reflex is to put the play on the DAW. It doesn't work, man. Pattern variations. Oh, this is amazing. More syncopation, please. Let's change the kick. Let's add a swing. Now it's more shuffly. And watch, uh, also interesting, you got a lot of different swing patterns. Could I call it that? Swing 88, what the hell is this one? Let's see. Weird stuff. Anyway, the different, uh, the, the main other screen is the edit screen, of course. And here you can see that it's taken, taken this beat and sort of divided into four stems. So if we're talking about exporting stems, this is what it means. And each stems give you an individual, or sometimes more than that. If you find resembling um, slices, it puts them on the same track. So again, let's push here. You see, I keep repeating this mistake because it's intuitive to play in the project and have the plug and play. So, here we have now right uh, not right now I have to plug and pray. Yeah. Don't want to do that. So here you see these two slices here. Let's maybe hear this one here. So I can shorten the samples. I can lengthen them. I can pan them of course. I can also pitch shift them. Very useful stuff. I would all, uh, you have an either high cat filter and low, high and low pass and high pass filters. And what I would like to see you know is like more algorithms or more granular options within each stem. That could be amazing. You know, like you can take a stem and process it with some sort of a time stretchy weird algorithm besides the current algorithm, which is really good. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm tweaking between the processed sound and the unprocessed sound. I wonder if this can receive automation. I suppose it can. And slices auto, you can um, select them by yourself. You can also browse between, you know, given patterns but I usually use the random. And I haven't really understood if the random button invents the patterns on spot or just goes, you know, circling from within the given patterns. I don't know. I haven't read the manual, I admit. And what else can I say about it? This is um, maybe this function. Okay, the record function is very interesting. And this brings up the third piece of uh, this plugin. This plugin also comes with the third piece which you can put on whatever um, channel you want. So let me put it on my uh, master bus, maybe. Let me squeeze it in so you can see what I'm doing. 
And you have live recorder, I think that, yeah, DAW recorder. And what this does, you have to put it on a channel before you can record into live from within the DAW. So this allows you to do this, and you see then it tells you it's recording. So if I will play anything, let's try and opening a mic, you know, and just recording myself into live. And that will be my final demonstration of this beauty piece of software. Let's cancel this. And I'll put it on monitor. I'm alive. And let's record myself. Hey, testing one, two, three. Let's also add a little bit of certain pitches. That should be interesting. Done. And you can only record like 15 seconds. So let me check. Maybe, maybe maybe I'll take the final piece. Hey, I will give it this color and this name or that and that icon. It's really nice that you can do that. Again, here is another feature request, please. In the um, source files, do add a search function because I don't see one, right? I'm not missing it. There is no search function because I can see myself, you know, quickly enough collecting hundreds of samples and I don't see a search bar here. You can, you know, like organize them from A to C or Z to A or all this or whatever, but I want to search by name or by tag. So it's a really basic function that should have been here, but... You guys, are so, you guys are so great, so you probably will edit in the upcoming version because the potential of this thing is huge. So uh, let's see what I've done. So now we'll have, you see, this recording we've made through the DAW. And let's see how I sound through the live plugin. This is so good. You can also cancel the pitch shifting. Why, why should I do that? It sounds very really good. So there you have it. This is a fabulous, so not, you know, it's not your bread and butter regular plugin, but this is exactly the reason I love this one. And this is why I so highly recommend that my students had enough of me talking about this plugin. So I decided to make one final video about it, and there you go. So if you have any ideas or comments, leave them below. If you want to see me, you know, talk about any other subject or any other interesting plugin you want me to review, because again, I usually don't do plugin reviews unless there's something special to talk about. And this is certainly something very special, very unique. Excellent, guys. I love you. Please make more stuff and keep the good stuff coming. I'll see you in the next video.